Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite. I'm Chris Davis, an engineer at National Instruments, and in this video we'll walk through an example from the software-defined radio community at ni.com slash SDR community. This demonstration shows uh, RF record and playback and provides two VIs, one for record and one for playback of an RF signal within the hardware capabilities of your S SDR hardware. In this case, we're using an NIUSRP2920, which has bandwidth capabilities between 50 MHz and 2.2 GHz. Also in this video, we'll be using a simple handheld two-way radio, as you can see in the webcam on the bottom right, to generate the signal to record as well as play back the recorded signal. Now, running this example is pretty straightforward. Once the software is downloaded from the community page you see here, with the download file at the bottom, you'll go ahead and open record and playback.lv project and you'll see these files to the left. Now, we've opened record.gvi from our project explorer already, and here you'll see running the example is pretty straightforward. Once record is open, we can configure the front panel controls to record the radio signal, in this case from our two-way radio. We'll go ahead and specify the location to save the recorded data, here just a file on our desktop. We'll enter the IP address of our USRP. Here we'll set the IQ rate to 200K, the carrier frequency to 462.5625 MHz, that's set to channel 1 of our handheld radio. Gain, we can leave at zero, and we'll want to properly set the RX antenna to the port that we're using, in this case, RX1. We've also configured the number of samples for 100,000. Now, we'll click Run, and it'll begin recording signals at those given parameters. And so we have something interesting in our recorded signal. I'll go ahead and send a message using the two-way radio. Note the change in the time domain plot that'll be graphed at the bottom as we acquire the signal and the data is received. So I'll go ahead and send a signal. Click Run. Testing, one, two, three. And we'll stop. Now, we can switch over and open up playback.gvi here at the top or from your Project Explorer. And we'll play back our recorded signal and listen to it over the two-way radio. Just as before, we'll want to specify the proper device name of our USIP device, uh, the file path that we saved to previously, the same carrier frequency we were using as well as the IQ rate, and number of samples as well. Again, gain we can remain at zero, and we'll want to ensure that the active antenna is set properly, in this case TX1. So we'll go ahead and run this VI, and I'll hold up the two-way radio so we can listen to the played back signal. Testing, one, two, three. And there you have it. That concludes a successful RF record and playback using LabVIEW communication system design software and the National Instruments USRP platform. The code for this demo and many others are available on the SDR community at ni.com slash SDR community. Come join the conversation and learn more about how NI can help you discover software-defined radio.